Hello friends, welcome to Unix Programming Tutorials. In this class, we are going to see how the command arguments and parameters are passed to user defined commands. In previous class, we discussed about how to define user defined commands. Now we can see that how you can pass arguments to these user defined commands. The shell programs will interpret the arguments such as file names and options while running the programs. Now we can see one command so ls. So what is the ls? ls can list all the files in the current directory. ls hyphen l. So that means here we are providing one option based on that option the representation of data will be changed. And third one ls hyphen l here i am giving one file name for example the file name is file one now you can apply this command on this file on this file only okay so that means so this is the option this is the argument now so normally we give uh, file names as a arguments now we see how we can uh, pass the arguments to user defined commands so now so for example, let us assume that here I am going to create a command. The command purpose is if you define any command. So for that we are going to write one command that is chmod plus x and you can give the file name. In our previous class we discussed about wd. So for that you can change the mod. So that means you are going to grant execution permission to the user defined command wd now i want to make this as one command first okay how so for this chmod compulsory i am going to give one argument okay one or more arguments so compulsory there is one argument how the unix operating system can identify the arguments means the first argument identified as dollar one the next argument dollar two the next argument dollar three if in this case if i give wd and the file one file two then so dollar one contains wd dollar two represents file one and dollar three represents file two okay so now so my intention is i am going to create one command for that command i am going to give the permissions now I want to make these permissions as user defined command and by using this I am going to assign the permissions to the another user defined command. Now we can see how. For that first I can create the command chmod plus x and dollar one means I give one argument and I store this one file known as a cx this is the file okay. So now I am going to change the permissions of CX itself. How? CX, CX. So what's happen when I call the CX, it is a chmod plus X, dollar one means CX. Okay, so that means chmod plus X, CX, it means. So now I move this CX file to bin. I create another command, the command name is D. In this D, I am going to store date that means when i press d it displays the date current date now in the similarly i move this d to bin directory now so this is the bin in this bin in our previous class we store one command wd and cx and now it is d so three files are available okay so now here how i can make this d as executable simply use cx command so what is the cx command chmod plus x dollar one so that means so chmod plus x what is the dollar one here d now the d becomes as a executable file now if you give the d then it prints the current date we can see the exact outputs in our execution session so now we can see command arguments and parameters I create a file echo chmod plus x 
and this is dollar one means argument one and i can save this in cx file okay so now i want to make this as a executable file with now you can see that ls hyphen l cx okay we grant the execution permissions so i can move this cx to bin now i can use this cx file as command also so first i want to create one command echo date i save in the d file the file name is d okay now i can move this d to bin that means now d also executable file now i can write cx d that means i am making this d as a executable file yes the cx file in the bin so i can move to bin cxd okay now i make this d as a executable file now if i can give the d it prints date okay if you observe that i give the d it prints date in this way here if you observe the cx is the command and d is argument here this is the how we can make the arguments for commands